Yo, what's up, guys? Just got off the phone with the champ, making a video before seven, and there ain't no more matchups, man. This sucks. It's always, it always sucks when the season's over. Um, you know, for me, you know, maybe not you. Maybe you're glad when fantasy basketball's over. I don't, I don't know. But um, Sean Braun was the champion this year. Um, very good championship game. Very, very good. Came down the Sunday, but could this have went the other way? I got six reasons why it could have went the other way, but let's check it out. Now, Santana, congratulations on a good year, but I want you to hear me out on my six reasons. I'm not trying to make you feel bad or anything like that, but I just want you to hear my perspective as a viewer of the game is what I'll, what I'll say because I was on it all week long because, I mean, it's, it's my league, so, I mean, you know, I just want to see what's going on all the time and what I felt like should have happened, and if it didn't happen, I'm just like, man, I wonder what his thought process was. So hopefully, you know, you can fill me in with some details on your process throughout the whole week after this video is done because, you know, everyone has a different thought process, you know, maybe maybe mine's not right. But as you can tell, super close matchup. Um, great week from both teams. I mean, it, uh, it was great. Santana led all the way up to – Going into Friday, I think Sean had his lead. I think Sean won the games on Thursday, took the lead going into Friday. And then it went back to Santana. But, I mean, Santana, wait till you see this player advantage for Sean. And the fact that Santana was this close is remarkable. That's the credit I'm going to give you. Your players played good this week, and you can't say that they didn't because they played fantastic. Um, but let's – this is the – Santana had 73 players play this week. Two Sean's – I already know the number. 88. That's a 15 player advantage for a championship game. That's just crazy to think that Santana was even in it coming into Sunday with 15 less players in a week than Sean. But first things first, I talked about it in the last video. Santana's first mistake was not moving Gallinari to the R spot on Monday for an extra pickup. I know you were limited on money just like Sean was this week, but you got to build a lead. I mean, you had one gold in the Thursday, and imagine if you could have built on that with pickups. All right, all right, all right, all right. So that's that's number one. Number two, let's go to your team, the Georgia Ballas. Is I'm a target Robin Lopez, and I want you to hear me on this one. I'll give you all the reasons on this one robin lopez this dude didn't play till thursday this week so that's monday tuesday wednesday without him so that's three days without this dude <clears throat> now let's be honest you drop him on monday what's the likelihood of sean picking this dude up yeah none sean ain't gonna spend the dollar ain't gonna spend a quarter on someone that ain't gonna play for him until thursday so I think this guy should have been dropped. Uh, maybe you didn't do the research on him not playing till Thursday because it's something that it got pointed out to me on Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm just like, oh, my God. So that that's mistake number two that could have got you three more players this week as well. So that's four more players you could have got already. Obviously, you know, you didn't have that much money, but you definitely could have because you could have got some back-to-back -back guys just like both of y'all were doing all week long. Um I guess mistake number three is not picking back up Ish Smith. This was the player to own this week in y'all's matchup. Um, you're, you're, you had him for Monday and Tuesday, and this was a fantastic pickup. He's on Sean's team now, I'm pretty sure. Um, fantastic pickup. He might be on free agents. I don't know where he's at. Um, eh, let me look up this little nigga. Smith. But this dude was the dude to have for sure. Like, you had him for the first two games. He played four games this week. You had him for these these two right here. Yeah, sorry, I put up all that. Those two right there. And you know it came down to assist onto the weekend. Um, as you told me on one of another one of your mistakes to me, um, I'll get to that eventually. But you let Sean pick him back up on, I think, Thursday or something, Friday, I don't know day it was and he did that for him that's 10 more assists you take away from sean's team that's 10 more assists you add to your team that's 37 points you add to your team 37 points you take away from sean's team you know blah 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 the block was definitely crucial blocks were super close um i'm just saying this was the guy that you should have went back for it and i looked at all your pickups this week you you added people 
and you never picked them back up if they had a good game. Um, I don't know why you went. You went. You picked up some questionable people to me, um, especially one. Um, one being Tony Allen, especially the day you picked him up. I was like, why is he picking? He was not best available at all. Um, I think Stills were really close at the time, so maybe that's the reason hoping he has a good night. But I'm sorry, that was just not the player. Never, never the player to pick up to me. Um, let's see if I can find it. I always do this. See what day it was. Um, cause I, I, it might have been the day Ish Smith got picked back up. And you got to think, something I didn't point out is Sean, you made, Sean spent $2 twice this week, so he lost out on two pickups that he could have potentially got um, because he was afraid he was going to pick him up. Like, I mean, he was doing the right things in the week. Um, I don't know what day, March 27th, whatever day that was. Uh, Jesus Christ, was it the 30th that you picked up? Tony Allen. Not that must have been the next day. But see right here, you should have picked up Ish Smith. I mean, yeah, he went for two dollars, but I would have spent two dollars on him. You knew you had the you know you had waiver advantage on him all week long, man. Ish Smith the man. Cause I mean, you said you wanted assists, but I mean, you know, these three players don't get assists. But it's all good. Um Tony Allen right here. This guy. Like Honestly, these two players are better than Tony Allen. And there's other players that day available. I don't think this was the best go-to guy that day. Um, but that's just my opinion. Um, you did definitely didn't get a good game for him at all. Um, but let's move on with mistakes. I think that was four. That's including Tony Allen. Um, number five, dropping... J.J. Reddick on a day that he plays. Five and six on the same on the same one because you dropped J.J. Reddick and kept Avery Bradley. And I know you didn't read his update because there was no way you read it. Player News Archive. Okay, it was right here. Where is it at? Okay, right here, right here, right here, right here. Right here, so I can point this out. Friday, March 31st. This is... <laughs> This was after, after you know, this was later in the day, so you couldn't have dropped him that day. So going into Saturday when you dropped J.J. Reddick, um, you kept Bradley on your team, and you should have kept Reddick and dropped Bradley for whoever you picked up because Reddick had a good game, get you closer than threes and points. Um, didn't have a bad game, but it says right here, dealing with the stomach flu, been rolled out for Friday's game, and come down here, it says, where is it at? And figures to do this. Jalen Brown will start in Bradley's place at shooting guard Friday and figures to do so again Sunday. And it says right here, also said that it's likely that Bradley will remain in Boston when the team travels to New York ahead of Sunday's game. I'm sorry, but this is the championship game. I can't take these risks. I can't. And you know you can pick him back up Sunday if he does play. You're going to get that update early enough. Um, you know, these are things to learn on. This is, you know, your first championship game. So, you know, you haven't been doing fantasy basketball for a long time. So this is definitely stuff to learn on for when you get here again. Um, and like I said, dropping J.J. Redick, that's five and six. Um, I thought that was a – that caught me so off guard that I'm just like, what? Is he not playing? Like, I, I started, like, looking up J.J. Redick all over the place on social media. Like, is he not playing? What's, what's going on? But, you know, it is what it is. Um, hold on. Kimberly, be call. All right, I'm back. I know I ended off with J.J. Redick. But, I mean – to, to what I'm saying, I mean, it's just like, you know, I wanted to see the best possible from both. And I know I got the best efforts out of Sean. I really do. Um, you know, he, he was down all week practically to someone that got outplayed by 15 people. So, I mean, like I said, I mean, it's still credit to Santana for making this matchup insanely close for that big of an advantage. And the last last thing, I, I – I called this one early on Sunday. I was like, man, he's got to do this today. Has to do this today. He had $3 left on Sunday, which I thought was awful. Um, I thought you should have spent all your money on Saturday, but maybe save a dollar like Sean did. I mean, it's just you got to. I mean, that was a weekday, um, April 1st. Insanely low day of players were playing. Um, you picked up Garrett Temple, which was awful. I don't know why you picked up any Sacramento player. They're – 
I just don't know. I mean, if you was to look at his, uh, man, I just don't know. You, if you would have looked anything up about Sacramento, they've been resting players out the butt. It was risky. Picked up Macklemore as well that same day. That's in Spencer Dinwiddie. These guys were terrible. I mean, but that's that's you know risk you got to take. Um, Sean had a claim in for him, so you know worst case scenario, I guess he goes to Sean and doesn't do much for him. But Sacramento guys, I don't know. I, I, I thought there was other guys to have. Um, you were in a big block battle as well with assists, um, and three pointers were closer. And like I said, man, Coker's the one that just gets a bunch of points. I'm sure there's not many there on the free agency, but it is what it is. I felt like you could have spent two more dollars. You would have had two more pickups. Um, Sean spent a lot that day, spent everything but a dollar. And then coming in the Sunday, at three dollars left. This is the last thing I want to point out that I would have done differently. I said it early Sunday, this is what you should do. I said and say it to you. Um, but go to players. You had three dollars left going into Sunday. You had people that you could have dropped. Um, just because, you know, it's the last game. You don't need them anymore. They're not playing. Um, you spent all three dollars on Jordan Crawford. I think you should have spent a dollar on Jordan Crawford and spent a dollar on two other players to try to block people he was trying to pick up. I mean, obviously, you know, you maybe not nail this or this, but, I mean, think about it. If you have a claim in for Nick Stalkus and Shelvin Mack, Sean doesn't get Nick Stalkus on Sunday. Yeah, it doesn't. He got five assists, 14 points. But that you take that away with everything else I've said. You, mi you might win this thing. You know, we're, we might be talking about you being the champion right now. and But that's just not the case. But, I mean, like I said, I don't want you to think I'm being extremely mean or anything. I just wanted to point out things that are going to improve you as an owner in this league and going forward. So those were the mistakes I saw. Um, maybe there was mistakes on Sean's end, but you can't say there was mistakes when he wins. Um, so that's that. Um Going into next year, once, once again, guys, I want to say congratulations to Sean and Santana on a fantastic year. Santana being the sixth seed, making a huge run. It's impressive. He just came up one game short, and Sean claiming his first championship. Um, moving on to next year, um, I really want to go back up to 12 teams. That was something I pushed for hard into this year. just didn't happen. Um, I lost like three people last year, so it was hard to get back to 10 as it was, as we all know. Um, but – Goal number one for me, um, got me on record here, is to get Brett back in this league. Um, I know it's probably going to be hard um, since he's running his own league, but I'm going to try because I really want Brett back. He's a super competitor, um, takes this pretty seriously. And also, Sean's strategy finally wins, finally gets it done. Maybe it's something we all have to maybe – start picking up a little more um you know also let's think about it in this way too if sean didn't participate in trivia sean might not have won this thing so that's something else to the people that don't participate in trivia just participate in trivia get more money spend more monies throughout the season um seating definitely matters like i said in the final four matchup if you would have been matched up with victor he loses he loses and sean's not a champion but seeds matter Spend your money throughout the year. I got to say the pickup strategy is good. Um, I usually make fun of it, but I can't make fun of something that got a championship. So I think that's all I got. Um, I think. So I'll get in touch with you guys, you know, um, eventually. Hopefully, hopefully I'm a little earlier this year than I am the past two years. been pretty bad. But if you have anyone interested in playing fantasy basketball, let me know. Obviously, I don't want no bums in here. They don't know what the crap they're doing. Um, so let me know. Always open to letting anyone come in. As you know, a lot of you came in through references through other people. Um, just want to thank, thank Victor and Sean. Look here. So I'm not missing anyone. Victor and Sean. For being in this year, being in this league every year, um, being really loyal. Sean missed a year due to baseball, which couldn't make him come to the draft. And I wasn't as lenient as I am now about being at the draft. Obviously, I don't want non-Skype calls. Um, one's enough. Um, but I want to thank them both for being in the year every year. 
It means a lot to have people like that. Um, Brett was one of those people until he left last year that was in it, I think, every year. Um, so thank you. Thank you for everyone participating this year. It was a great year, fun year. Um, couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you. Have a great rest of your year.